Hello gamers, we're back. It's a new weekly. Um, I did, I played a little bit of the weekly last night because I was... Slapstick. There's your, my, a hat fell off my desk and hit the metal lid of my garbage can. In case you were wondering, if, if you're an aspiring Foley artist and you're wondering what the heck happened there, let me be an inedible carrot. And you uh, got it memorized. Any questions is what I mean to say. Sorry, wrong, uh, wrong copy pasta there. Gamer shut in too. I, I disagree with your team, but I defend to the death your right to defeat me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, um, I don't know um, what we're going to do here. This team does not look good right now, but it's only round two. And we got some, we got some levels coming. Obviously, we also have some apples coming. I can only hope that we also have some pen pineapples. And then all we need is some apple pens and we're good to go. This seems like from the weekly that I've played so far. It seems like this week. Ooh, that's a little new. Getting a little slick with it. Getting a little new with it. Um, now this is this is atypical, but it's also is kind of interesting, right? I guess we could. It, the The right thing to do is probably selling two mice, two level two mice, and then taking the the four four we get in stats. But that's not as cool as what I'm going to try to do, which is wait till round five, combine them, and then I don't even know what a level three mouse does. What do you even do? You just give three apples. So obviously that's like a huge waste. Can I, if you'll allow me to get slightly insane for a second? I did not mean to drag you on top. No. What I meant to do was, um, I was gonna try to build a third level two mouse. Obviously that won't be coming to pass, but uh, we will be drawing, we'll be losing a round. Okay, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this. Look, we're memeing it up a little bit round one. Big one, just a little memery. I hate this, I feel like we should like almost take nothing. Okay, fine, I'll do it. That's not good enough, are you crazy? <laughs> That's not even close to being at the level. You know what? Get out of here. I, yeah, I sold my best unit. And you know what? I'd do it again if I had the chance. What am I doing? I, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. I don't really know, okay? Yeah, I, I, honestly, this team does not seem good enough. But I don't know. A 9-9 nine, nine level 2 dolphin on round 5? It's gonna do some damage. It's gonna annoy some people. It's gonna lose the game easily, but you know, as long as you ignore that part of things, it was looking pretty sick with it. Okay, here comes the flawless. What is what is it called if you don't get any wins? That that should be called like a flawful. Not a falafel, which is delicious. But like a full awful or a flawful, as in it everything about it was flawed. Look, I'll take what I can get, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Holy cow. Holy cow. No, no, not like this. We draw these. We draw these. Okay, just let me get one win before we start to play for real, okay? Because this is a little... It's just simply a little much. Sure. You know what? Watch this. I honestly think you should be gone. I think you should get in here. And we got two of the... I, I mean, I would not be the authority to tell you that buffing two dolphins simultaneously is the right thing to do. All I'm going to say is that the iguana wasn't really doing anything for us at all, so I, I'm not going to apologize for the position we find ourselves in. And wouldn't you know it, we just won a freaking round. Maybe I shouldn't be so braggadocious about such a meager feat, but... Okay. Interesting. Honestly, I have a hard time believing that that's going to do it for us. Freeze this, though. And then run me like... Run me something like that. I know we still were buffing two dolphins. I think it's just because we've given up hope of getting to 10. Just buff whatever units you think could give you a chance of getting one more win. And I gotta say, two level two dolphins is, is interesting. We're getting a lot done with the snipes. But we will combine for a level three to get an early tier six. Sorry. You need to you need to pay closer attention, I guess, if you're gonna if you're gonna try to get something like that off. It's painful. It's painful, is what it is. 
Um, let's try to get a skunk leveled up, I suppose. I mean, you know what? I think we should, I actually think we should get a crocodile. If we could, if we can get a crocodile out of here, I'd be very happy with myself. We'll wait till the next round if we're lucky enough to live for one more round. We shouldn't probably, we have one good unit, but he's a heck of a sniper. There's no doubt about that. I mean, look at the sniping. Holy cow, what, how is your team better at sniping than mine when sniping is the only thing my team does? That doesn't seem like it should work like that. All right, that was screwed from the point that I got so many mice. We should never have bought so many mice. It was a disaster right from the jump. Let's start, let's play a little sensible ball here, if you don't mind. We'll start with something like this. Um, we'll be, how about a submissive pot? Doesn't really make any sense, but they don't, not every name can be a winner. <clears throat> this seems okay to me. Seems totally fine. Now, your, your team that's good on round one doesn't necessarily guarantee you greatness on the subsequent rounds. But uh, we are looking like we may have a chance to get a level here. We well, There's three different units that could give us a level. That's a lot of, that's wide open spaces. As the chick said, that's room to make a big mistake. I don't think there was any way we could have lost that one. Now that I look at how the math shaked out, shook out. <clears throat> no level, but I'm not crying yet. No level and I'm starting to tear up. A level! And a camel. We have to wait a second here. More of you means I probably won't pill you the next turn. Okay, you're gonna level up too, huh? I gotta think about it right now, I think it's good. Although your team is uh, is also quite strong. I think I got very lucky with my ant luck. I'm going to come away with a win here. I'm going to say not deserved. Look at the tale of two teams, man. You see how much better we're doing now? It's crazy. Why don't we make you worth the cost of doing business here? I think you guys have got to get unwound a little bit. So roll me. Take one of those. It's, it, it doesn't bother me too much. We'd love to see a cucumber for our camel. We're gonna level up our cockroach next turn. It's not gonna stick around long term, don't worry. <clears throat> we got a while to go before we, we're thinking about units that are sticking around permanently. We've got an insane... <clears throat> Just working the turkey through. We've got an insane luck with our ants so far and I'm very grateful for it. How about one of these? That could buff two units immediately, is very nice. How about you get out of here? How about we run kangaroo behind a uh, camel? And um, we're not going to worry about a cockroach at all. Maybe we still like this for now. But we are going to worry about you getting closer to leveling. We are going to worry about our kangaroo getting closer to leveling. Croissant. I sleep on the croissant. But I, I'm loving the buffs. Although now I'm realizing the attack buff on my, uh, on my cockroach is basically useless. But that's okay. It's, it's not amazing, but it's, it's okay. Holy cow, that's a strong unit. <laughs> oh my god. Holy cow, we're winning in spite of your unit strength? My god. Okay, we want level t level 2 kangaroo as soon as possible. So that, um, or camel, so that we can sell the cockroach and still get the buffs that we're looking for here. Sell me. Okay, I think we have to make a judgment call. It can wait till the next round. That's my judgment call. No, 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 not interested. Okay. We get level two kangaroo next turn. That allows us to sell our cockroach. We're still getting two buffs from the penguin. It'll also open up a level... Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. Um, it'll open up a tier five to us, which is very exciting. It's very exciting stuff, these tier fives. We got our first loss, but I'm not crying because I think that this is a, a decent looking team right here. Get leveled. A, a beautiful tier five, in my opinion. Get sold, get purchased, get purchased. No need to swap anybody's stats right now. Pair, we're keeping around. Food buff seems very, very nice right now. Level two camel, also very, very nice. Um, would love to see the penguin level up because at that point, could the penguin hit more than one unit per turn? I don't know. By the way, great crocodile snipe. Or more than two units per turn, I should say. More than two units per turn. It's still a very strong uh, camel. We, we may have just lost. We definitely did just lose. Holy cow. Even though we destroyed uh, a unit, we still got blown out. This is a strong-looking team. Fox. 
I'm not 100% sold, but I am 100% sold on you. Give two, two, level two and three friends. Okay, so you, you never buff wider than you're already buffing. But it's still nice. It's still, that's very valuable scaling. The more of it that hits the camel, the happier I am. And the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Okay, it's not, it's not a great start. In fact, it's a horrendous start. <clears throat> Why is your team so good? I've been getting great shops. It's just, so it means there must be a problem with my, with my uh, target selection. I'm not choosing the right animals. Okay, I'm gonna make a judgment call. I'm gonna sell a crocodile. I'm gonna buy a cow. I'm gonna continue to buff this camel because at this point that's like our only way to get out of it, to get out of this situation. And then honestly, I would, if I have to, I would add a monkey to the squad, continue buffing the ant a little bit. I'm scared. The whole squad hinges on essentially a 1020 camel, which probably should be getting the buffs that are, we're giving to our ant, but Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. See, it's not so bad. Now I'm like, this is a, this is the kind of team I was looking for. This team's not all that in a bag of potato chips. Nothing wrong with that. We think we just ran into a monster last time. Nah. Nah. Not that interested. Um, nobody really needs the tempura shrimp. I, I see the argument for the efficiency of it, but... And you give what, two, three, and you give two, four, and you cost us gold. So I'm gonna save for a second. We'll probably try to run you next time. Happy to see the skunk again. It's been a long time. I would definitely give the skunk a chance to do some work, um, if, especially if we can get some, some gold. There was some, some chocolate, I mean to say. We could take it to like level two. We're, we're eking it out. We're barely making it, but we're making it. Okay, that's seven. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sell me. Um, buy me, buy me, buy me. But I will say, I do want this lemon on our camel too. And it, uh, the T-Rex is really good. Probably better than the penguin. Yeah, ooh, two, one. You give two, two, two. Uh, we gotta we gotta talk about it. It'd be nice to get the T Rex to level two before we're forced to make the change, but that's probably not this like wishful thinking. The lemon might have been more important than getting the skunk to level two, but you know, it, I guess I would just say we're blessed to be in a position where we can choose. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful beautiful round we're having here. As long as my kangaroo doesn't get sniped before the game even starts, we're we're looking a lot better. I think you need this. You need this. Another good food. How about you just take one of those as a just-in-case me? I'm still liking the penguin over the T-Rex, but if we get to a pivot where we can get a level 2 T-Rex, that, that could be the difference between, like, uh, like 7 wins or whatever we're on right now and, and 10 wins. It really could be. But you know what? I'm looking at this, and I'm like, it's a bit of a pipe dream, but we might be able to make it regardless. I mean, we just got to 9. I'm not buying you. We need stuff that has an immediate impact. You should take one of these. Another lemon would hit the spot, man. The tacos, I'm just, it would be wishful thinking for sure. You know what? Why don't you take a, a one up for now? There's a semi realistic chance that that might give us enough of a buff to make a big difference. Please, I really need this. <laughs> Okay, we did make their kangaroo a little stronger. We we knew that was a possibility. No. No. <laughs> it's the strongest lemon of all time. But still, nine. Nine's not so bad. I mean, one of these. I'm not sold on the iguana just in general. And I'm really sold on the, the ant-cockroach combo early on. <clears throat> Let me be like an ironic baguette. I don't know, like a ciabatta that's just pretending. A ciabatta that's putting on airs, if you will. That old chestnut. Okay. I'm loving the ant cockroach combo. More of that. You know what? While we're here, while we're here, we're family. Olive Garden. I gotta d d order this. I'm, I'm just trying to. Just, just considering it, just studying it. You know how dogs is and all that. You know how bugs are and all that. Saved. Saved! Okay. 
Now, the bugs get combined. Maybe we go Peacock, because it, it could use the HP buff that we're going to get. I love what you got going on here. Uh, I think we forget that. I think we say buy a Peacock, sell a mouse. I should have bought one of the honeys and the badger first, because I'm going to buff you. I'm going to run... You know what? I'm going to go psycho mode. I'm going to run front badger until maybe we can get some honey on it. I'm going to give it a croissant. That was not smart. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get honey on it now, and it's definitely gonna kill my ant, but uh, maybe it'll kill whatever they got out there as well. Oh no! That's a 10-10? That's a 12-11? It's a 14-12? That's a strong frilled dragon, okay? What was that name? So such an aggressive name. Not in you know what? We might as well we might as well pill you. I almost pilled my pill bug. That would have been ironic in some ways. Um, for now, I guess I'm gonna pop you down because you're not gonna kill the peacock. You're still not gonna kill the peacock and we want the peacock to be our level for next time. And I think that the pill bug order is fine. I don't really mind that we're buffing the cockroach. Maybe it's not ideal, but I think it's, it's okay. Oh my God, we're gonna win. I'm a little surprised, but I'm very, very happy. And if you could just give me a buffing animal on this one. Not a buffing animal. There are a lot of snipers this week. You know what? There actually are. What if you run Porcupine and you just try to make sure that it's getting the stats, obviously, from the pill bug. We don't really care about the cockroach getting any more buffs. We do care about the badger. It's only round five. I think it's if you're gonna sell your cockroach and get a buffing animal, then you want you want to do it right away. And I don't think, okay, we do care about that until lemons show up, but we, we don't really care about the pineapple on the porcupine. If it could just kill a crocodile that tries to shoot it, I'd be thrilled. Now, this is going to be interesting. Help. Help me. Do I get to do anything? <laughs> we drew. I'll take it. I'm a little surprised uh, that, looked, that looked scary, but we made it. How about one of these? How about one of these? But roll me a, a level two badger. Now, I do understand it's starting to look like there's not much point to this badger. Yeah, I think that's an accurate assessment. It is basically just killing my pill bug, but does it dawn on you that my pill bug only exists to give HP to my porcupine? I don't know if that's a positive. Now that I think about it, it kind of, the way I framed it definitely makes it sound like a negative. We're not even giving HP to our, uh, to our porcupine, we're giving it all to our peacock, now that I think about it even further. But I think you still, you buff the peacock more. The peacock absorbs the buffs better. I guess we're going, come, give it give it a chance, man. Why not run level three badger? If you if you find the, the tools in the toolbox. Okay, we'll, we'll be running level three badger. It's bizarre. Especially, I mean, we could always move it to the back, but I feel like at the front, it's always going to, unless we're like up against sharks or something like that, it's always going to do um, work for us. Like, look at the work that it did right there. Just took you by surprise. <clears throat> Bit of a busted team up against Pushing P here. I should always be wary. I know pushy, Pushing P is a TikTok meme. Obviously, I'm not part of the you know, contemporaneous generation for knowing what the heck pushing P means. I asked chat, they said, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Later, we're going to find out, hey, the guy who invented pushing P is actually like a horrible human being and anyone who references it as a result must be endorsing their crimes. No, I swear. I'm just trying to stay hip with the, with the younger generation. It's tough, right? You feel like you could probably use a seal here. And it would give you the ability to buff. You know what? I, th I think you got to do it. I think maybe sell me, buy me, and because I, I want you to get the HP now. And I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with all this. Okay. And then we gotta we gotta feed our porcupine. We gotta feed my Frankenstein. And then we gotta sell this pill bug as well. We got we gotta, There's a lot of stuff on the go. Okay. Nice shot, Lynx. Nice shot. Are you freaking sorry? I can't believe the porcupine's actually kind of popping. <clears throat> now, I imagine it won't last forever, but here we are. How about, uh, I think you gotta go. And then honestly, 
<laughs> you can just buff the badger for now. Because I'm not throwing all of my weight behind front badger and suggesting it's actually, like, the way. What I am doing is, um... Leaning into the skid, because I think it would be funny if, if the front badger um, managed to get us to 10. We do have to be careful, and by be careful, I mean like... <clears throat> yeah, that's the exact situation I was concerned about. <laughs> I was like, if something kills the monkey, then the badger will kill our, um, our peacock, which is not good. So maybe we do something like this. Maybe we'll get a little apple plus a distributed salad. How about one of these real quick? Sure, I'm on one of these real quick. You're doing great, honestly. I, I, I would love you to keep it up. I'm just hoping we go up against some crocodiles. For this to just work one time would feel so good. If we could just kill one crocodile. Or I'd, I'd settle for a dolphin. <clears throat> it, it almost happened again. Oh, no. No, 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 no! <laughs> Nobody, nobody, Kim Kardashian voice, nobody wants to work anymore, except instead of work, it's nobody wants to build fun teams that allow my fun teams to just win easily and feel like I'm good at the game, but everyone, everybody's optimized for, like, peak performance? Drives you crazy? <clears throat> Keep it moving. Don't kill the monkey, please. Don't kill the monkey. I need the monkey to live as a human shield so that my units further behind don't die. Oh, you're in a world, uh, you're in a world of great success, never mind! Okay, I drew, all right, all right. Nobody runs crocodiles anymore, huh? I know there's crocodiles on this weekly. There's right there, don't lie to me, Walt. Okay, honestly, you tried your best and you didn't succeed. I definitely, um... I don't think we're scaling fast enough. At all. Um, and that's okay. I'm trying to figure out what, what I'm going to toss out here. Like, it could have been an orca. And there's a part of me that actually thinks you can just throw a hedgehog here. Get a hurt trigger on your uh, on your peacock. Break enemy equipment, maybe, possibly. May oh, uh, well, it's a little. I don't know if you noticed this. It's a little spicy. A little spicy for you. A little spicy for you, maybe. That takes us to seven. And and I'm feeling very respectable right now. Um, I think you now need this. I think that makes you into an incredible unit. Now you're not really. You don't need to be here. Hit you with one of those for sure. I need to throw something there, but it doesn't need to be you. And you need a lemon next. For now, why don't you give me an anteater? I'm thinking 3322 badger that does like 99 damage when it dies. It's kind of pog with it. It's kind of insanely pog with it. This blowfish is gonna go off unless it hits my porcupine! My porcupine! That's what it's there for! The porcupine! Thank you! Oh no! Do it again! <laughs> Wait a minute, it's popping, man. Okay. One of these days we're gonna fizzle a crocodile. It's gonna feel so good. You need a lemon. I'm not gonna pill you. It's just not worth it. And I think this is like a gimme. So we then get to give a seal even more support. And then you know what? Why don't, you, why don't you send a badger out there? You never know what you're going to get out of that. Why not? Why not send a badger out there? Oh, because if it gets sniped, it'll break my melon armor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's a, you know what? We fizzled the crocodile, though! All is forgiven! Oh! I'm dead. Okay, so taking the badger probably cost us the game, but at least we fizzled the crocodile. And we're having fun! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.